Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to tell you what games are not supported on the Nintendo Switch Lite. Yes, because the new portable only version of the Nintendo Switch does not have removable Joy-Con and does not output to a TV, that means that certain games will not work properly without buying additional hardware, and other games just won't work at all, at least not in any real sense. The original Switch console supports three play modes, TV mode, tabletop mode, and hand handheld mode. TV mode is when it plugs into a TV through the dock, tabletop mode is where you use the kickstand to hold it up and you just use it like an external monitor, and handheld mode is when you're holding it in your hands holding it. The Nintendo Switch Lite, on the other hand, only officially supports handheld mode, although realistically tabletop mode does still work, you just have to use something to prop it up and buy additional controllers. If you want to get technical, every single piece of Switch software that has been released up until the time of recording, and presumably on into the future, does run on the Nintendo Switch Lite and will load up and will not complain. However, practically, some games just don't really work. Let's have a look at what games those are. We're going to start off with the games that won't work with the Nintendo Switch Lite unless you purchase additional controllers. These include 1-2 Switch, all of the Just Dance games, Super Mario Party, Fitness Boxing, and Ring Fit Adventure. Thankfully, not that many, but the reason that they're not supported is because all of those require Joy-Con, which do not come as standard with the Nintendo Switch Lite. This is because all of these games require the Joy-Con controllers, and they require them to be detached from the console. There's absolutely nothing stopping you going out and buying a pair of Joy-Con and playing these games in quote-unquote tabletop mode, just using a third-party stand, or just resting it on something secure and comfy, but out of the box, on the Switch Lite, they do not work. Do be aware that you will need a method of charging them, whether that's through a Joy-Con charging grip or just a charging stand as you can see here, or indeed <laughs> another Switch if you have that. Either way, the Nintendo Switch Lite Lite does not support charging Joy-Con, so you will need to buy something else as well, which isn't exactly ideal, but it is possible. There is another series of games that do not work on the Nintendo Switch Lite, and realistically don't really work at all even if you buy additional Joy-Con. These are the Nintendo Labo sets, which all require and are all designed to work with the standard Switch console, not the Lite, therefore it won't fit into the cardboard, and whilst you may, if you buy additional Joy-Con, get some of the games working with the Labo, overall it's not really going to be worth your time because it's just not supported. So that's all well and good, but what do you need to know in order to make sure that you don't accidentally buy a game that is not supported by the Nintendo Switch Lite because you've forgotten or just simply because it's a game that isn't listed on this list because it's not out yet? Well, all you need to do is look at the box or the bottom of the eShop listing. As you can see here, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is fully compatible with the Nintendo Switch Lite because the handheld mode icon is not greyed out. It's all lit up and lovely. By contrast, if we have a look at the eShop listing for Super Mario Party, you'll see that the handheld mode icon is not only greyed out but also crossed out. And naturally, this means that it is not compatible with the Nintendo Switch Lite. Aside from what we featured in this video here, the Nintendo Switch Lite is compatible with all the games that are available on the Nintendo Switch. Original? I don't know what to call it. This also includes things like motion controls and gyro aiming on games like Splatoon 2 and Doom, so you can play those with reckless abandon and don't feel that you're missing out on any of the additional functions. You may run into certain situations where very specific parts of very specific games are not supported on the Nintendo Switch Lite, such as reloading using the IR camera on the bottom of the Joy-Con in Resident Evil Revelations. However, these are going to be very few and far between, and realistically, you don't have to worry about them because if they support handheld mode, these options are disabled as default. And that's about it. You should now be able to buy any game you like for your Nintendo Switch Lite with reckless abandon. Just remember to keep an eye out and make sure that the game is compatible with handheld mode and you should be absolutely gravy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you check compatibility with that subscribe button and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,